Welcome back to The Ageless Athlete. Today we're going to be discussing a subject that was mentioned in the comments about supplementation. We were also asked about vitamins, which we're going to do in a different video, but right now we're going to discuss my morning routine of supplements. And in the morning, you want to have the energy for your day. You want to also work on longevity pathways, intercellular energy, and um, such, such forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take a quick look at the different things I take in the morning. And of course, I could do a deep dive into these things at a later date. So the first thing I take, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but I pick companies based on products, on delivery systems, on purity. So when I pick a product from a certain company, it's because I feel that this company does the best job. So a lot of these supplements from the morning routine, um, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, five different supplements. Four of them are from one company. This is because I, I really like their purity and delivery systems. When it comes to vitamins, sometimes you don't need to worry about delivery systems with specific vitamins. But when certain things have low bioavailability, you have to worry more about the delivery methods. This is a, a subject that we can get into at a later date. The first product I'm going to be talking about is uh, Renew by Science SLC NMN. So the SLC is a newly found pathway and these are enteric coated capsules. So they do not dissolve in the stomach, they dissolve in the uh, intestine and they absorb through this SLC pathway. Uh, NMN is found to be absorbed through this pathway, NR, nicotinamide riboside, is not. NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, is. So this product is a very cost-effective product compared to some of the others I'm going to show you. And that is one of the reasons I use it also because it is a different pathway. This product contains 250 milligrams of NMN, it contains 100 milligrams of TMG. TMG is a methyl group donor. You need methyl groups for a host of things like DNA repair. So the idea behind this is, is if you have the methyl groups, you're not borrowing from you know, other areas where you're going to need these methyl groups. So you're just giving your body extra methyl groups. It also contains 20 milligrams of zinc, and it also contains sodium bicarbonate, 50 milligrams. The studies with the SLC pathway discuss that you need uh, some type of sodium. Now, I don't know if it really discussed sodium bicarbonate uh, in this, in the literature. I, I remember it specifically saying uh, in the presence of sodium. Now, because I take a, uh, this particular product, because zinc is in this product, zinc is a very important thing, but you want the zinc to be able to get into the cells. When zinc is inside the cells, you can stop the replication of RNA. So we're talking about viral infections here. That is why I like to use quercetin. Now quercetin is only bioavailable in about 3% to 8% with about an average of around maybe 5-6% bioavailable. That is why I take liposomal technology. Imagine liposomes are like um, a bubble that protects the, the package. Like let's pretend it's a package with a, a bubble. And inside that bubble is the quercetin. What this does is it allows it to be transported and uptaked by the cells directly without the degradation of your stomach acid. So this is a really, really important thing because when you look at regular quercetin supplementation, you're looking at 500 milligrams or even 800 milligrams. Sometimes they add bromelain to increase absorption. And bromelain is also good on its own, and that could be a topic for a later date. But 
when you have liposome technology, you don't need nearly that kind of dosage because with liposomes, you're getting absorption of at least tenfold. So, for example, maybe on the low end, if absorption is between, you know, that 5 6%, 8%, let's say, you could be getting 80% absorption using liposomal technology. And in some cases, um, you could be getting up to 98% absorption liposomally. So one of these tablets is only 150 milligrams. And I take just one tablet in the morning with my zinc uh, in this supplement. And I actually take my vitamins at nighttime before bed. We'll discuss why I like to take my uh, vitamins at night versus my intercellular energy in the morning. But I believe that vitamins at nighttime are better for, or at least for me, because when you're sleeping, your body is in repair mode. So the vitamins can be used to repair the body. Now I take them about an hour before bed so that they, so because when, as you sleep, you know, all your systems slow down. So I want to give the vitamins time to, you know, be digested and released, but then I want to be able to go to bed and allow that healing process to begin. And I take another one of these at night. So it's about 300 milligrams per day. Um, but the zinc, because I take some zinc in my nighttime supplement and some zinc in my daily supplement in the morning, I split my quercetin. Quercetin does have a long half-life, but imagine it as a tour guide uh, the way K2 is to vitamin D3, but it's a tour guide for the zinc into the cell, what we call a zinc ionosphore. The same way you heard during the uh, non-speakable term, the cove, whatever, where uh, hydroxy uh, hydroxycortiquin was talked about, that hydroxycortiquin works like quercetin as an ionophore for zinc, and it allows it to be channeled into the cell. That is so important for helping the, the, the stop this replication with inside the cells. Remember, viruses hijack your cells, use them for replication, and once they completely use them, they basically, I'm just giving you an idea, detonate all the new virus into the body, which then seeks out new cells, which then seeks out to replicate in those cells, which then seeks to explode out and go into other areas of your body. And this is a process. You want to stop that process. So the next uh, thing that I have is more NMN. It is a much more expensive one. And this is because it's liposomal, also renewed by science, liposomal NMN, 250 milligrams. Now I am not, you know, of advanced age. So for me, I feel that, especially because I'm taking the liposomal technology, now I don't need as much. So I'm only using 500 milligrams of NMN in the morning. This is 250 milligrams NMN and 250 milligrams through the SLC pathway. With this uh, liposomal version, you're getting basically all of it versus Maybe you would have to take, you, you hear people talking like David Sinclair, he's taking a gram of NMN. Some people are taking two grams of NMN, but they're taking a, a powdered form that has no delivery method. It's not SLC, it's not liposomal, um, it's not a phospholipid bilayer, it's not, it's none of these things. And so you have to take more of the product, just like the way I explained with the quercetin, you have to take more of the product to get it into the system at those high levels. And NMN is designed to increase NAD. Um, and NAD is necessary for the energy of life. Um, uh, nicotinamide uh, dinucleotide. Di dinucleotide? Uh, I, excuse my, you know, sometimes my brain is... I'm doing all of this off of uh, the top of my head. Um, so then you have the next component. 
There's been a lot of things going back and forth, but David Sinclair also ties into the foundation of this, and this is transresveratrol. Transresveratrol, if you listen to David Sinclair, he says, imagine NMN is the gas in a car, and imagine that transresveratrol is like the gas pedal, and the two combine uh, help with the intercellular energy and the sirtuin-1 pathway. So this liposomal technology, again, allows it to be delivered in a highly efficient manner. This is 125 milligrams per capsule. I like to take two capsules or 250 milligrams in the morning. But every... 60 days, I, I drop down and do only one a day or 125 milligrams for 30 days. So 60 days at 250 milligrams and then 30 days at 125 milligrams. And I will explain a little bit at a later date why I do that. There are some interesting studies. Again, David Sinclair takes a gram. I think with the liposomal technology, you get a lot more bang for your uh, buck. Obviously, you could either just take a lot larger dosage or you could take a better delivery system. The last thing does not have that I'm going to talk about really a lot of publicity. It doesn't, it's not discussed much. And I think it is a really interesting, interesting thing. This is part of the same intercellular energy that we've been talking about, but this is part of the Krebs cycle, and this is called Benagene, and it is oxaloacetate. So they originally couldn't get oxaloacetate because it had to be like minus 20 degrees. No one could, you know, store it for a supplement. And then they were able to figure out how to use vitamin C and make it so that it could be at regular temperature, which is incredible. And oxaloacetate uh, can be anti-aging, uh, antioxidant, energy support, and it really can help you with both that daily energy and longevity for your life. So this is my combination. Now, just to just so that everyone knows. This, uh, this product says it is 250 milligrams, but if you look at the actual amount of oxaloacetate, it is 100 milligrams of actual oxaloacetate. This is an expensive product also. The, the next product up that I found, which is like 500 milligrams oxaloacetate, is close to $600. Uh, this one is, uh, for 30 capsules, is about $50. So it is not an inexpensive product. And also because I'm not of advanced age, I don't feel like I need so much of the product. If I was a little bit older, maybe another 10 years from now, I would be upping the dose of all of these things. So I believe you have to balance how you feel, your age, and your um, the overall goals that you have. For, for my age, for my goals, I feel amazing when I take my supplements in the morning. And I get this great energy for the day. So for me, this is fine. And in a few years, maybe I will go up maybe 750 milligrams of NMN, uh, maybe 1,000 at one point. When I do decide to go up, it would be going up with the liposomal versus the SLC, keeping the SLC at the 250, going up on the liposomal, which is the absolute best absorption, in my opinion. For the quercetin, uh, it has amazing effects beyond just being an ionophore for zinc. It has its own effects, completely separate, antioxidant, uh, anti-cancer, anti, uh, so many things. We can go into all these products at a later date. I just wanted to show everybody what it is I do. Now, after I do all these things in the morning, I also have other products that I 
am not going to show at this moment. For example, I will talk about some of the products. Uh, I do take a microdose. This is a prescribed medication. It is a microdosed version of oral minoxidil. It's 2.75 milligrams with 5 milligrams of biotin. So this is a product that is designed for hair health. As you get older, you want to maintain a good head of hair. So it's best to be proactive and try and keep your hair versus, you know, once you start losing it or lose it, trying to fix that situation because if you listen to the best hair doctors in the world, by the time you notice that you're losing hair, you've already lost 50% of your follicular units. Your eye just doesn't catch it early on. So you think, oh, everything's fine. You've lost 20% of your hair, everything's fine. You've lost 30%, everything's fine. All of a sudden, visually, you see it and you're like, oh, something's not fine. Well, it's really hard once you've lost hair to replenish it. So it's much better to work on that. And we'll come again with another video on all the things you can do for your hair health. And I do a, a whole host of things for my hair health because I want to have a great head of hair all the way until I'm 70, 80 years old. If I can make it to 90 or 100, who knows? And uh, my goal is to live as long as possible, but as healthy as possible. With living longer, the idea is, is that you stay healthy and you keep that health. And then you have a short period of time where you spiral down and pass away. Versus this way we've been aging currently, which is you have this, you know, health going up. Then you plateau and then you start going down slowly, 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 slowly over a decade and then you have this even bigger decline over three maybe three four years and then you die but that's like 14 15 years of this horrible decline no one wants to have that we want to have those years as healthy years we want to have those years as amazing years that you could i mean you could be 80 living like a 60 year old if you're exercising, if you're working on your vitamins, nutrition, supplements, you're eating right, you're living right, you know, you keep your vices to a minimum. I mean, I get everyone has some vice, but, you know, try and keep it to a minimum in a healthy range at least. So uh, beyond those, like I said, uh, I do take the prescription minoxidil 2.75 milligrams uh, along with the 5 milligrams of biotin, which is also 5,000 micrograms. In case you see it uh, in a store where you're looking at biotin, between 5 milligrams or 10 milligrams would be the correct amount for hair health. Of course, that's if you are deficient in it, it will help. And also, minoxidil was originally designed for blood pressure, but the doses for blood pressure are much higher. But even at a microdose of 2.75 milligrams, it will help your blood pressure. So it's just a bonus. Um, the other thing is in the mornings, if you have a physician who knows about anti-aging, knows about uh, compounding pharmacies, you know, keeping uh, the sirtuin pathway activated, keeping fat at a minimum, uh, all these great things. There is uh, some really interesting things out there that are, you know, what may be considered state of the art, such as 5-amino uh, 1-MQ, which I like to take 5-amino-1-MQ for 60 days, but I only like to take uh, what's considered the lowest dose of 50 milligrams. It's 50 milligrams per capsule, and some people will take it for either once, twice, or three times a day. So it's between, 100, uh, between 50 milligrams and 150 milligrams, whether you take it once, twice, or three times a day, which is if it's twice, it's every 12 hours. If it's three times, it's every eight hours. Now, this is an NMNT. Uh, that's how it works. 
And, but it also has some really interesting, oh, there's my dog in the background, my cute dog. Um, it also has some really interesting things. For example, it helps turn white fat to brown fat. Brown fat is metabolically active, which means that it's burning calories, not like muscle, so it's not as good, but it's better than white fat. And white fat is just sitting there doing nothing. It's just waiting to be eaten, you know, when you need it to be eaten. But brown fat is metabolically active. Uh, it also helps so that you do not gain fat when you have a little bit of out of control diet for a day or whatever it is. It helps you not put on extra weight. It also is part of that sirtuin pathway and activates the sirtuin pathway. That's why I only take it once a day. I, I already have abs, I'm in good shape. I don't keep a, a, a heavy body weight. Um, right now I'm sitting at about 205 pounds. Probably, if I were to take a guess, because I, I don't have an exact amount, I'm 14% body fat at the current moment. And you know, with the taking it once a day will will help just not put on extra weight, but also it's being taken with the NMN, it's being taken with the transverse veritrol, with the oxal acetate, all together to help with that sirtuin pathway system. And it's working in synergy. So that is my daily routine in the mornings. And I will come back and talk about my vitamin routine because people asked about both my morning, uh, well, they didn't say morning, or uh, they asked about supplements and vitamins, and I said I would discuss it. So I, because I separate my supplements and my vitamins, I will come back at another time and in the next video discuss my vitamins. Of course, I can do deep dives into each of these things at a later date, but I wanted to give you an overall, you know, what do I do? And I feel like at my age, I am healthier, more active. My body looks better than it ever has. I feel good, I have great energy. And I just, I overall feel good. And I see my friends that I went to high school with and my friends will say, hey man, what are you doing? You know, you look great, you know, you look better now than you looked at, you know, 23. And for me, it's all about doing the research learning and always educating myself. While some people like to read books, I, I like to read medical studies. When other people are doing their own thing, I'm enjoying learning or watching a, a presentation by a cardiologist to medical students. So, so many interesting things I have for this channel. And I'd like to really bring some different ways of looking at things obviously a lot of these topics have been discussed but trying to discuss them in a different way so thank you for being with me today this is the ageless athlete and i will see you next time